Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the 2022 Ram 1500. This one is the Bighorn and it is the quad cab. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the features this one has. Under the hood of this Ram, there is a 5.7 naturally aspirated V8. It is connected to an eight speed automatic transmission. This engine produces 395 horsepower and 410 pound feet of torque and the fuel economy numbers on this engine, 15 in the city, 21 highway and 17 combined. Here is a Masabi sticker of this 2022 Ram 1500 Bighorn. If you guys are interested in the standard features it has, just go ahead and pause the video. And it does have two packages. It has the Sport Appearance Package and the Level 1 Equipment Group. And it does have a few options here. And the price with destination is 52000 If you guys are curious about the color, the color is called Delmanico Red. And it is a $100 option. I'm not sure why Ram actually charges $100 for this color. And I think for the black color, they do charge 100 bucks. So I really wish they were free. But anyways, guys, uh, as I said, this one has the Sport Appearance Package. And it has the Bighorn Level 1 Package. And um, it does actually have the chrome clad uh, 20 inch rim, uh, rims uh, yeah i definitely love those uh, chrome rims better than the standard rims that the bighorn comes with and uh, coming to the front nothing much changed for 2022 same and uh, for 52,000 or for 42,000 starting price i really wish that the headlights were led but everything right here in the headlight housing is halogen which i'm not a big fan of and uh, the fog lights are halogen so I really wish that at least the low beam was um, LED. The RAM badge is nice and big, finished in chrome. And the grill itself is finished in flat black. And I really like the red accents that are next to the RAM badge. And uh, this, yeah, the design I think looks pretty good. And down here, there is more of that flat black grill but those grills are fake so those vents are fake non-functional and there is no tow hooks here in the front i really wish there was some tow hooks but i think you have to get like a certain package uh, to be able to get the tow, tow hooks here in the front but let's go ahead and move to the side and i'll show you the side view of this big horn here is the side view of this big horn and the side view looks okay just like any other truck and uh, this one is the quad cab that means this one has the smaller door in the back if you guys get the crew cab um, it's going to be uh, bigger basically and it's going to be more comfortable so if you carry a lot of people go with the crew cab if you really don't care or if you don't carry a lot of people then uh, go with the quad cab because the quad cab has actually better discounts and uh, incentives on it but in COVID-19 and with the chip shortage there is no incentives at all from dealerships and uh, yeah the side view looks not too bad all the window trims are finished in flat black and uh, on the mirror there is a turn signal indicator and the bottom of the mirror is finished in flat black the ram badge is in the bottom of the front door it is finished in chrome nice and big and on the hood there is a badge it says 1500 with the hemi 5.7 and um, those rims they are the chrome clad uh, 20 inch rims uh, they are almost a 1600 dollars option and honestly i prefer those chrome rims better than the standard rims uh, the big horn comes with i think the standard rims are like 18 inches if i'm not mistaken but anyways those chrome uh, rims are much better but let's go ahead and move to the back now and i'll show you the back view of this ram 1500 here is the back of this ram and the back looks okay again guys this is a truck so it doesn't really have a crazy design to it in the back but i really really wish that ram added led lights uh to the big horn so for the big horn i really think that they should have added led lights for the tail lights and uh, headlights uh, and i really wish they only did the halogen on the tradesman um, trim only but coming to the back tail light housing looks okay and um, everything in the tail light housing is halogen for 42,000 as a base trim i think they should have been led 4x4 badge is nice and big located on the right big horn is finished in flat black and the surrounding of it is finished in chrome and it is located on the left and uh, the ram logo is massive back here by the way here is the backup camera and the button for the tailgate is under underneath the backup camera and uh, here are the pin connectors here is the hitch receiver and the exhaust tips are massive they're finished in chrome there is dual exhaust tips here in the back and they're connected to the exhaust pipe and uh, yeah overall the back looks 
not bad here is the key of this ram it does look a little bit on the bulky side but it does feel nice and uh, very solid it does have four binds on it unlock lock remote start and a panic bind and ram is written in the back let's go ahead and start the truck double click on the remote start button and this thing sounds amazing it does have the 5.7 uh, V8 and uh, to open the tailgate there is actually only one way and it is on the tailgate There's nothing on the key and there is nothing inside So only one button to open the tailgate and it is located right underneath the backup camera Let me go ahead and unlock the truck first It does have a soft release to it and uh, this top portion is finished in plastic and honestly guys the tailgate is super super light yeah this thing is very very light and uh, the size of this bed is uh, six four you could get the crew cab in six four or uh, five seven but the quad cab only comes in six four there's four tie downs there's one right here one right there and uh, two on the left side and uh, in the back there is no AC outlets or anything like that and uh, this one doesn't have the uh, spray and bed liner I think you could get it in uh, spray bed liner and uh, the cargo lights are finished and ho are basically halogen and the third brake light is in the middle and I think the third brake light is not LED for the front door panel it does actually look very good and uh, this top portion right here is that synthetic cover material so it is nice and soft I really love this trim I think it does look very good and uh, this whole thing right here is finished in cloth I love the brushed aluminum around this cloth trim and around the door handle and uh, the door handle feels a little bit on the lighter side not a big fan of that and uh, the armrest is nice and soft wrapped in leather I love the double stitching and the window switches mirror controls everything actually looks good this ram bighorn has auto folding mirrors and the front two windows are automatic up and down there is a storage place right here which is nice and uh, this is plastic which is expected and uh, there is actually a very good amount of storage place in the bottom of this door and uh, the speaker uh, looks massive in this uh, front door panel and for the seats the seats are actually nice and comfortable the design looks okay there is a good amount of white stitching on those seats and um, here are the seat controls with lumbar support and uh, there is a storage place right here or file storage place but let's go ahead and move to the inside of this ram and i'll show you how it looks like from the inside a lot of people requested to see the stickers on the truck side review so i just want to go ahead and show you guys how much it can actually um, know what's the payload and uh, the uh, towing capacity and uh, here is the tire PSI um, limit and the size of those tires all right so here is the interior of this 2022 Ram 1500 Bighorn and uh, jar looks good it does have an eight inch screen and this is part of the level one equipment group and uh, the steering wheel is wrapped in leather very thin which is expected from a truck and uh, does have the Rome, uh, ram logo in the middle and uh, right here on the left there is few buttons to control that center screen so if you go left and right it will basically change so you could go up and down left and right depending on the menu you're in so some menus don't have the left and right uh, function and uh, right here there is the voice command and phone controls and then on the right is the cruise controls and uh, then you could basically control your gears you could downshift and upshift and uh, on the right there is no shifter because the shifter is actually located right here and uh, here is the engine start stop and uh, on the left is the wiper controls with the turn signal controls and uh, the gauges look actually very good for a truck so the font is nice and clear and uh, there is this nice big screen in the middle that displays a ton of information and uh, yeah looks very good and uh, right here the AC vents or the air vents look good there's some brushed aluminum around them and uh, down here is the brightness control headlight controls fog light controls and cargo light controls and all the way in the, in the bottom there is the 
e-brake and the pedal adjustment so you could actually bring it to the front or move it to the back depending if you're short or tall so very good and I think this is part of the level one equipment group if I'm not mistaken and uh, here is a screen it's an 8 inch screen it does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and uh, the backup camera and the RAM is very very clear seriously I really love what RAM, do, what RAM is doing with their uh, backup cameras they're super super clear you could zoom in and uh, yeah just overall very good uh, camera system nice and clear even though this truck is massive this backup camera makes parking this truck super easy and up here there is a storage place with a rubber mat you could remove it if you want to clean uh, clean this area right here and there is a 12 volt and ram is written right there and uh, yeah overall very good interior ac vents look nice and big and uh, there's this brushed aluminum that goes underneath the ac vents and uh, here is a screen as i said it's an inch screen it does have apple carplay and android auto the system itself it's actually nice and responsive and uh, i was messing with it and you could actually change the um, theme of this screen you could make it dark you could make it uh, white you could set it to auto so in the daytime it's, it's white and at night it turns to um, black let me go ahead and see i can't remember where i actually it's right here so you could set the theme you could uh, change it to dark the system itself it's actually not bad a little bit slow but it's not too bad and uh, you could adjust the brightness and uh, you could set the theme so I have to change the background uh, for the theme so let's go light set theme and if we go yeah I'm not exactly sure what's going on but you could set yeah here we go you could change the theme so it has that red theme now so very good uh, system down here there is a volume knob a mute bind emergency light bind screen off and e2 knob and you could actually control yeah you could uh, control uh, the screen using this uh, wheel and down here the climate controls are super easy to use and i seriously uh, prefer those uh, climate controls much better than the massive 12 inch screen that the rams come with so this is very easy to use there's three knobs here is the fan speed and here is the temperature control very easy to use and the modes are right here so everything is easy and down here is the trailing brake there is some gloss black and here is the traction control just click on it and that will turn off the traction control to a whole mode if you click on it it will display it right there behind the red needle and it will display in the center screen saying that the tow hole mode is on and in the bottom there is two usb c's two usb's one aux a place to put your phone on the higher trims this is a wireless phone charger and there is just a ton of space and you could actually move this to the front two cup holders nice and big coin holders and a ton of storage place seriously i really really love the amount of space in this uh, center console and here is the shifter that will control the eight speed automatic transmission very easy to use just rotate it to the right to go to the gear you want to and then rotate it to the left to go back so super easy and here are the four wheel drive controls there is the four uh four auto two wheel drive four low and four high and yeah seriously this middle console is massive the armrest is nice and uh, soft, wrapped in leather. Love the stitching. By the way, there's two cup holders in the back. And uh, let me go ahead and show you the glove boxes. There is a small one up there and then a big one uh, down there. And most of the trucks nowadays, they have that dual glove box design. And uh, for the rear view, view mirror, it's almost frameless. It has really nice thin bezels. So I really like that. And it's not too bulky or too big. And up here there is a glasses holder and there is some halogen lights and uh, this 
will turn on all the lights in this ram if you leave it in the middle it will uh, the lights will turn on when the doors are open or you could keep it off if you don't want the lights to turn on when the lights when the doors are open and uh, let me go ahead and show you the back window opens nice and quick and up here the visor is finished in not plastic cardboard uh, it's very hard I really wish it had some soft softness to it inside there is a good size mirror with two halogen lights and there is the garage controls right here but yeah guys seriously I think the interior of this Ram looks good and uh, there's just a ton of storage places here is the back door and the back door has the same design as the front but this top portion right here is plastic which is expected a lot of companies actually cheap out in the back doors I really like this um, trim there is this brushed aluminum uh, trim the door handle feels nice but it's a little bit on the um, uh, lighter side the armrest here in the back is actually plastic not a big fan of that for 52,000 I really wish it wasn't and uh, here is the window switch and uh, this is plastic and uh, all the way in the bottom there is no storage place the speaker is massive uh, in this back door panel and uh, for the back seats this is the quad as I said uh, they're not going to be a lot of leg room if you want something bigger then uh, you have to go with the crew cab the headroom is very good and this is expected from um, trucks there is no armrest in the back and yeah the leg room is not really that big you could lift the seats up if you want more room if you have something big that you want to put in the back uh, you could just put those seats up and uh, as I said guys there is two cup holders and uh, there is a storage place in the middle and uh, the AC vents there's AC vents back here and I really like the trim back here and uh, the brushed aluminum and that's how the front of this ram looks like I hope you guys enjoyed this review of this 2022 Ram Bighorn I would like to thank Dominic and Chrysler Dodge Ram here in Meridian Connecticut for providing me this Ram if you guys are around and if you guys are interested make sure to come check them out I'm gonna go ahead and put the information and link in the bottom of this video and if you guys would like to see more videos like this please subscribe and as always I'll see you next time